lines, and balls. We all know we are different from one another. What we don't know is how different we are. My Aunt Nat called with a problem. My sister Eva wants to retire, but she won't do anything about it. I laughed and said, of course not. Eva's a ball. She'll never call in for the forms and instructions. That's a job for a line. Aunt Nat, you are a good line. So you call, ask for the forms, and then help her fill them out. Oh, good idea. I'll do it. But tell me, what's a ball? What's a line? You know what a ball is. A ball is very good at bouncing. A ball rolls around happily. But balls have a hard time going in a straight line. Lines are very useful for going from point to point. Lines are good at being purposeful. Net laughed. Where did you learn that? I didn't learn it. I just made it up. Balls are good at making things up. After that, I began to notice how many expressions describe balls. Off the wall? Of course. It's how a ball explores. Or the phrase, what an airhead. Duh. What else would a ball be filled with? There are bowling balls, but most balls are not such hard heads. You sure let the air out of me. That can happen when lines and balls get together. And when a ball bounces, all a line can see is where the ball was when it hit the line. That's a broken line. That upsets lines. Balls naturally think globally. But lines really help locating places. Lines and balls together are so much more than one or the other. The End More at MindShifts.com